Payton, featuring amazing stories from every neighborhood with Rance Adams. This is River City Live. We are back in the Publix kitchen with Chef Tony. And Ooh. Chef Tony, this looks yes, amazing and it smells delicious. So what do we have on tap today? We have a, a curry mustard glazed grilled salmon with a citrus mint brown rice or rice, if you will. So I'm using uh, right here. I have a little bit of uh, wild salmon. We're getting wild salmon in the store, too. So it's keto, sockeye, all that has been coming in. I have it on the grill cooking off. You can see. If you look at the gradient here, it's going from a like a really light pink to a kind of a whitish pink, right? So well, that's what we're after. If we start to see white come up, that means we're starting to cook protein out of it. That's not what we want. But I got my glaze right here, which is just some uh, brown sugar, some spicy brown mustard, and curry powder. I think that's what I smell is the curry powder. Oh yeah, this is this is. But you know, as we mix, you, we're gonna mix this up. It's gonna become a paste. So. Just like baking, sugar is actually classified as a liquid, not as a dry ingredient. And you can see why when we add it to stuff, it kind of just will liquefy out just like that. Yeah. So look, so that's there. You know, I put the salmon on right before we hit the air. I'm going to see if it's ready to go. This is some thinner salmon. So you can see it lifted right up. That means it's beautiful. If it comes up, we're good to go. If it stays on the grill, that means it needs a few more minutes. So beautiful, and we're gonna flip it. Got us a couple of grill marks right there. Let me get that off. All right, now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to baste the salmon with it. So we're adding that flavor on, just like that. As thick as you want it to be. If you're not sure about the flavors, go thin, but this is great. Now, I was perusing through our recipes online. This, you know, the aprons recipes online, and I was like, you know, we need to find something that's going to be really good together for the salmon season. And I went to our better choice selection and I found this salmon there, but then I found what can go with it there as well, which is that citrus mint brown rice. So I'm going to turn the heat off because this is cast iron. That's going to carry over as much as I need to. I'm surprised how fast that cooked too. Well, I'm on high heat. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not playing around with medium and anything like that. I'm counting on the heat coming up to, to go ahead and get that glaze set. If not, I could, if I'm outside on my grill, just lower the lid. And it looks like the consistency is already starting to change a little yes. bit since you put it on there. So that's a good sign, yeah. So I have some brown rice in here. I have citrus zest, which means I have lemon juice, lemon zest in here. And I have a little bit of uh, oil and the lemon juice. So I'm gonna put in my peas, my mint, cilantro, green onions, and then a little bit of sweetness. I'm gonna put in some golden raisins. And I'm just going to turn that around to get the flavor worked through. Now, they are frozen peas, so if they're thawed out, you just put them in with the warm rice, cover it for a minute, and that'll warm the peas through as long as they are thawed out. Look, look how, I mean, this just looks delicious. That green in there, we got a little bit of that. Right? If you want to put some peppers in here, like some orange or yellow peppers, you could. And look, it's as easy as this right here. And one of the things you were saying too, salmon is in season now. Well, we, we're in. We have wild caught salmon. Yeah. Um, in the stores now, so that's that's what we we want to, and it's great to put in your diet, because it does bring some of those um, essential oils to your your diet, and some of the minerals and, and fat that you need. And in here, we're using high fiber brown rice. We have green in here, and we have a little bit of fiber from the raisin, but the the sweetness as well. So, I'm gonna take that one. We'll put that guy right there. That looks great. That guy right there. I'm looking for 145 on my fish. So if I have a thermometer, I'm going to check 145. That means it's done. Not for all fish because, you know, check your fish and see what it needs to be cooked to. Some have particular temperatures that they need to hit. And we could take, uh, right, we could take some of this cilantro right here and you can kind of try to lay it over. That didn't work out very you well, You indicated did it? earlier when you put the topping that it was going to change consistency and you could clearly see that it did. Yes. So it went on as a liquid and now it kind of has that nice glazing type of cover over it. Well, and that's what sugar does, right? When sugar goes to caramelize, it more glazes things and gives you that look, that glossy look. Um, you know, if we were doing this in a pan, I may have hit the pan with a little bit of butter at the end and just to kind of go, and then I could have spooned the butter over the top of the sauce to give a little bit more, but that's not part of the better choice <laughs> option that we're working with today. And, you know, just highlight what is exactly the better choice 
options. Then. So the better choice options that we look at on the website that are there is heart healthy, um, ovo lacto vegetarian, kosher, um, things that are less sodium. So you know the, these are all listed there, and there is a bank of recipes from from our eight brunch program that highlights all of this, and you can see the nutritionals there to know if it's falling into that better choice diet that you're trying to make for yourself. Yeah, that's great. So newsforjacks.com slash recipes, this will be on there. And you know what? With kids back in school, a lot of times families, they want to have a nice nutritious meal for dinner for when they come home. So this is perfect. I want to give this a shot here. And you and saw I, how fast it was. It was super fast. I love this glazing you put on top of it. That is, it's sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. And I'm all about that, all about the sugars. Got to balance that, uh, that spice profile a little bit, so. Yeah, all right, well, thanks again. This is delicious. I'm gonna keep on eating this, but in the meantime, Noreen Young, what she did, she decided to do a little segment on back to school, but when you're doing it virtually from your home, how to spruce up those surroundings. So let's take a look. 